I'd like you to imagine that you are on a beach. To your right, the sea blows salty wind into your hair. To your left is a cliff. A cliff that, despite its beauty, would make an acrophobic fear for their life. Imagine that you live in this area. That you are part of a small community that has taken up residence around this lovely tourist attraction. It's a very quiet, peaceful life. Nothing ever really happens, but that's okay because everyone is relatively happy. Crime is virtually non-existent. The people you meet on the street are nice enough. You love it here. Now, I'd like you to imagine that the dead body of an 11-year-old boy is found on the beach one morning. The police begin to investigate the scene. The family is notified. It is quickly discovered that he did not commit suicide. He was murdered. Welcome to Broadchurch, the mini-series that took Great Britain by storm. The original eight episodes were so popular that they scored two whole new seasons, an American reboot, and a book series. I personally stumbled upon the crime drama while watching Doctor Who. After actor David Tennant's departure from the show, I decided to seek out more of his work. He had particularly impressed me with the touching moments he was able to achieve with such a quirky character. During a visit to the local library, I picked up a book that talked about the backstory behind each actor that had taken on the role of the Doctor. One series that the author seemed to really love, that starred Tennant, was Broadchurch. A little internet research revealed that he was not the only one. Broadchurch has a rating of 8.4 on the International Movie Database and a score of 88% on its first season from Rotten Tomatoes. After watching the series myself, I can say those ratings don't do it justice. What makes Broadchurch so good? Why are so many people, including myself, raving about its quality? It all boils down to what most people look for in a television show. Great characterization, beautiful photography, and, most importantly, especially for a murder mystery, a plotline that keeps the audience engaged. So what makes a great character? An English teacher could give their students an entire handout on this subject, but to me it can be simplified down to some very important things. Good traits, bad traits, and consistency. Broadchurch does this very well, especially with its two main characters, detectives Alec Hardy and Ellie Miller. Hardy is cold, antisocial, and awkward when it comes to any kind of relationship. But he is also very driven, intelligent, insightful, and a great detective. Miller is overly emotional for the job she has to deal with, but she is also very kind and caring, something that is important in a small-town cop. Through both seasons of the show, these two don't waver from these personalities while still growing and adapting to their changing environment. Miller eventually forms a friendship with Hardy, and their strained conversations often add a hint of humor to the show. I appreciated that Hardy doesn't take main stage in the series. Tennant has a lot of star power, having been the Doctor in Doctor Who, but the show doesn't focus too heavily on his character. Every character has their turn. The grieving family, Miller's family, the reporters, the shop owner that runs the paper business. The show takes its time telling the story in a thought-provoking way, and that makes it all the more powerful. One of the things that really impressed me as an amateur short film creator and artist is the beautiful composition of Broadchurch. Most television has great filming that gets the message across, but Broadchurch goes way beyond this mentality. A great example is one of the first shots of the entire series. The camera smoothly follows Mark Latimer, the father of the boy that was murdered, down the street as he completes his morning routine, darting in and out of buildings, bumping into characters we get to know better later on, and even pausing to allow for a speeding car. That kind of filming takes a lot of planning and experience to pull off, and it plays out beautifully. This is accented by the gorgeous setting the show creates. Locations were specifically scoped out, not only for their addition to the story, but for their aesthetics. The audience truly feels like they're in a vacation destination in rural England. A haunting soundtrack perfectly adds to the mood of the show. Every scene is unique and keeps the audience's attention on the screen. I occasionally pause the television just to admire what the camera had captured. A dedicated crew took the time to notice the little things, an element mirrored by the storyline of the show. 
What really launched Broadchurch into the spotlight is how well the plot is constructed. It doesn't play out like your average American crime drama. The episodes run together as one fluid story, which to me is much more intriguing than the one mystery per episode standard that I'm used to seeing. This allows the narrative behind Who Killed Danny to be explored much more extensively, and keep the audience guessing a lot longer. Even the actors that signed up to do the series had no clue who the murderer was until they received the scripts for the final episode of season one. While the show didn't hit it big in the United States, Broadchurch's nail-biting suspense is still brought up in British interviews with the actors three years after its initial release. Because Broadchurch was so successful in the UK, the British Broadcasting Corporation requested another season from show creator Chris Chibnall. The second season of Broadchurch takes a turn for the unexpected and shows the after-effects of such a town-shattering event. It explores the trials of court and all of the issues that can occur around a case. Many people thought the show lost its gripping storyline during its second season, but I personally found it to be just as intriguing. It's not very often that we get to see such in-depth details behind what goes into a court case, nor the emotional effect it can have on individuals. With a mix of heavy drama, some dark themes, and an occasional moment of touching humor, it's not hard to come to the conclusion that Broadchurch is very well written. This is partly due to great writers, but also due to the fact that the show aims for quality, not quantity. The majority of American shows crank out 24 episodes per season, but Broadchurch only produces 8 every 2 years. This takes a huge strain off not only the actors, but the writers, allowing them more time to create and edit better scripts. While the long wait can be hard on viewers, I think it also adds to the suspense. That extra time allows for a plethora of wonderful fanfiction and art to be shared among avid viewers, or a rewatching of prior seasons. It makes that moment when you finally get to see the newest episode all the more worth the hiatus. Broadchurch has everything needed to allow the audience to forget that they're sitting in front of the television. The true goal of any show. It can be hard to find a show that has it all. Great characters, a riveting storyline, well-written scripts, and beautiful music and visuals. It is for that reason Broadchurch gets an A-plus in my book.